Hello guys, welcome to Refer UX. Myself Nimesh. Today, let's see one of the important cryptographic machine used in cryptographic history, that is Enigma machine. Let's try to solve the mystery behind Enigma machine. Enigma is one of the encryption device developed and used in World War II by Nazi Germans or German army. This encryption device is very complex so that until British found the way to crack the enigma, Germans were winning the war, kept on winning every single attempt because nobody couldn't understand the secret messages passing between Germans army troops. The Enigma machine comprising couple of components which creates the complexity of the machine comprising keyboard to enter your message and following the LAM board which shows the encrypted uh, message for, which is en encrypted through the keyboard then you have plug boards and rotors to scramble the message and also re re uh, reflectors uh, to scramble the message now if anyone wonders okay how this enigma machine works now this is the answer we have a mainly keyboard to enter our message. Then keyboard input is directly connected to the plug board where first time uh, scrambling happening. Then that scrambled message or that letter flowing through wheels uh, out of uh, five to six wheels. There are mainly uh, three wheels are uh, rotors are selected. Then through these three rotors, it uh, again coming back, go to the reflector and coming back through the rotors again and through the blackboard and finally scrambled letter is shown in the lamp board. Now, due to this complex rotation or the scrambling, there's no chance to view the same lamp board letter when you press the same keyboard letter twice. Now, how this should happen or what are the requirements uh, to be there to happen this magic to do that both ends transmitting end and the receiving end there should be two machines identical to enigma machines with the exact same initial configuration for that particular day now why it is red color because without that initial exact configuration none of the magic or are the encryption and the decryption happens as we wish again by now i think if somebody have a doubt okay how much event space is there or how many possibilities are there to select a particular ciphertext well this is your answer because uh, the scrambling happened at the rotor selection at the rotor positioning as well as at the blackboard positioning hence this much of big event space is created and guessing the it's the particular ciphertext coming out from the enigma machine is completely insane now to make sure the same exact configuration will be there at the board ends every month this piece of paper is this kind of a piece of paper is shared among the generals of every uh, German army troops. We are a very secure method. Perhaps um, say it's through their Nazi's secret uh, service, professional secret service, because this consists the relevant initial configuration of each and every day of the particular month. And this is the key distribution method used in uh, Enigma because it's a uh, symmetrical encryption mode hence the keys should be distributed among the transmitter and the receiver and that is one of the only that is one of um, 
all, uh, main vulnerability in the system it was what if the particular piece of paper got stolen by the enemy troops then that from the, that particular month entire messages would be uh, compromised due to that now if somebody wishes to read this kind of this paper it comprising another four parts first part show obviously the initial uh, column shows the day, then the wheel order, then of the particular day, then the ring value or ring setting of the particular day, and the plug setting, plug board setting of the particular day, and finally the random key that can be selected for the particular day because they have given four options, four keys, you can select either one, no matter because we are not going to encrypt the key because we are adding the plain text key. Uh, very beginning of the encrypted message so that uh, even the receiver can notify that plain text uh, key then they can uh, identify the it is as a key because it is appeared in their piece of paper uh, random select key uh, column so that they can verify that is the initial key then we come to the encoding process it's very simple first we have to set the device to the initial configurations of the particular day using that piece of paper then we have to see we can select a, a random uh, initial key which we are not going to encrypt but we are going to use that random key to encrypt our message key now message key is the key we are going to use uh, to encrypt our original message now in order to avoid any errors uh, we uh, germans proposed we should type the message key let's say three letter message key twice uh, so that no error uh, printing mistakes would happen so we set the initial key to the enigma machine then we type message key twice then we get a scramble message for that uh, six letter word now if we are using three letter message key then using the message key third step using the original message key that is uh, the, in this example, let's say the, we can encrypt the rest of the message. Now, finally, you should receive this kind of an output. That is uh, the very first, you can add the plain text and encrypted uh, initial key, then six letters of encrypted message key, uh, the finally, the encrypted message body. In the decoding process, we can again set the device at the receiving end to the initial configuration of that day. Second, we can identify from the receiving text, okay, what is the initial key? Then we can easily uh, set that initial key to the device. Then rest after the initial key, next six letters are the in message key. Then we can type the next six letters in the Enigma machine using the initial key. Then we can decode that and extract the message key, which has been typed twice. Because if it is the 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 should the the, the or six letter should be there, and finally using that message key, the rest of the message body can be encrypted. Decrypted. Now sometimes you may feel that uh, this is a really a uh, messy thing. So without uh, wasting any uh, or without spending more more time, let's do a real world example as mentioned in this image or rather screen. Then you can yourself discover how easy to encrypt and decrypt using enigma machine okay first uh, let's view this url to view the enigma simulator the url is mentioned in this uh, link even uh, it is appeared in the description as well as uh, in the initial introduction of the video when you view this url you will get a enigma simulator like this then we quickly set the initial settings of the enigma machine as per our given questions where we have three wheels number of wheels are three and the wheel order to be three two one and the reflector to be c ring settings to be or other ring values to be five seven and nine and also the plug board values we have a to D, E to W, G to H, and R to T. And the initial key that uh, supposed to be using here is X, Y, Z, and it is appeared in the received uh, ciphertext as well. Let's do it. First, I'll go 
to the Enigma simulator. You can see we have three, uh, two, and one appeared. And the reflector to be three. Then in order to change the ring values, I'll go to rings option. Then I'll type five, seven, and nine as exactly mentioned in the question then i go to the uh, again positions and if you review it again you have that then i'll go to this plug show plug board option then i type my values uh, it is said a to d then e to w and uh, g to h and finally r P, R, P. Then I click on activate. Now the plug board is activated. Now I um, hide the plug board. Then, uh, okay, if you want, I can keep it as show the plug board so that you can see that as well. Will give you a live feeling. Then first I set my initial setting key as X, Y, and uh, Z. I have said that and then what I'm going to do is I will type the initial six letter word in this case U I P U O U in order to decode the message key. So what I'm going to do is I'll type U I P U O U. I type U I P U O U. U. and voila you can see as the output six letter word with three letter word doubling or appearing again so uh, as i mentioned early in the introduction in order to avoid any uh, errors in the message key uh, nazis or other germans they used same message key twice so that easily can be Decrypted. Now we have found the message key that is the. Then we will clear this and we set the uh, key as the newly found message key to be the. Then we can decrypt the rest of the message. So the rest of the message starts after the six letter word that is one, two, three, two, five, six. So from the letter H, we our our original message is there so what we can do is we can copy that and we can paste it here and uh, we can uh, re eliminate any um, uh, spaces there so we can this is our uh, ciphertext actual ciphertext for the message and you can see the decrypted message that is jack and jill went up to the went to went up the hill jack and jill went up the Hill. Now, for information, we have just decrypted the ciphertext message. Now, if anyone wonders, okay, can we perform the encryption as it is and can we check it is correct? Of course. Now, as we know, our message here is Jack and Jill went up to the hill. I can copy it and I'll erase this entire thing. Now, as we discussed, our message key to be the, so every, uh, all the settings are same for the exact day. So I didn't change anything. I use the message key as the, then I type my message as, uh, as this, Jack and Jill went up the hill. And as you can see, the encrypted message is H, D, J, B, L, so and so, and ending with I, X, S, F. And uh, it is ending is IXSF uh, and exactly our encrypted message. Now, to show you more, uh, to, to show that how we can encrypt the message key initially, that is using X, Y, Z, I encrypt the, the and you can see U, I, P, U, O, U, which is the exact uh, text here as the encrypted our message key. So in summary, XYZ in plain text we sending across the uh, over the media or the air media or radio waves to the uh, receiver. So this is not change XYZ. 
from that point uh, onwards, uh, next six letters are the uh, message key which has been encrypted using XYZ. So, with the relevant days initial settings along with the XYZ, the receiver can decrypt this and uh, then you can extract the message key which is happening twice. So, select only one and uh, and then using that key with the initial settings, they can decrypt the rest of the message. Now, if somebody asks, what if somebody is stolen this message? Who cares? Somebody knows an initial, uh, initial key. Who cares? Because none of these things works without the exact configuration of that particular day, which is being transmitted very securely between two entities. So, intruders, no matter, listen to this radio communication or its message, they cannot decrypt without that exact configuration for that exact particular day. In this example, we demonstrated how to encrypt and decrypt using Enigma machine. Obviously, it was a symmetric encryption device used in World War II especially, one of the very complex and uh, significant encrypted device in cryptographic history. I hope you learned something new out of this video. We really appreciate your valuable comments, likes and shares of this video. To know about future such videos quickly, please do subscribe to our channel. Till we meet again, have a great time.